For embedded local databases in your mobile applications, you actually have three different choices. You can use SQLite, which is built into the OS. You can use IBLite, which adds RDBMS features like referential integrity. Or you can use ib to go which is the full portable version of Interbase with all the features you love, like table and column encryption. Let's go ahead and take a look at IBLite. We're using FireDAC to connect to IBLite, and that starts with the FD connection component. Specify the driver ID of IBLite and provide a path to your data file. Now, this is a local path, so C colon backslash to the path to tasks.gdb. This path doesn't mean anything on mobile devices, so we have to swap that out. I'll show you how to do that. But this is used at design time and running it on Windows. And then your username and password are specified here as well. Once that's all done, you can use test to test the connection to your database and make sure it's all set up correctly. We're using an FD table to collect and display the data to the user. And if we activate this, we get our data at design time. Whenever you're working with FireDAC, you need to make sure you include your weight cursor so that the user um, receives the weight cursor when the database is processing. This example also includes two FD queries, one for inserting and one for deleting, and these are tied to the delete and add buttons here. So let's go ahead and jump into this code here. We're using a input query dialog, which prompts the user for uh, a new task. And when it's done, it uses the FD query insert, adds the parameter for task of the new task value and executes that query statement. The code for deleting uses the FD query component, sets the task name and executes the SQL. As I mentioned, we have to change the path name and that's done on the uh, before connect event on the FD connection. And in here, we just use a conditional define to say if it's iOS or Android, then we want to change the database value of parameter to the current document path and then task GDB. And so what this will do is it will point to the correct location, whether it be on iOS or Android. When you're using IBLite, you have to deploy IBLite with your application. And that's done through the project deployment manager. And you come in here to featured files and it's under IB to go. And you just select the platform you want to target and select everything but the IB to go registration. Now the uh, IB light registration file is obtained when you register your IB light serial number. So you get an IB light serial number with your purchase and you register that on the website and follow the directions in order to generate the IB light text file and place it in the correct location. Once that's done, then when you add the feature file, then that gets added automatically to the correct location. If this is in gray, then it's not finding it and you need to go through and double check that you have the file in the right location. The other ones that are gray are optional and are not being deployed in this instance. The other thing you need to deploy is the tasks.gdb file. So this is the database file itself that we were deploying with our application. On iOS, it goes in the startup documents folder. On Android, it goes in the assets internal folder. Once you have the deployment set up correctly, then we're able to run it on our device to see it in action. Here it is running on the iPad, a 64-bit application. And we see that we, on our list, we have make an IB Lite app. We'll go ahead and add another one. Upgrade to XE8. And since we've already created our IB Lite application, we'll go ahead and delete that one. Here it is running on Android. And again, we can add a new task. download the trial, and since we've created our interbase application, we can go and delete that item from our task list. This has been a brief overview of using IB Lite in your mobile applications.